Hey everyone and welcome to another video. On today's video I have a package in front of me. I've already opened it because I just couldn't wait but it is actually from the Ukraine. Uh, a while back my mom asked me if I could teach her how to carve a spoon and of course I was super excited to do that but I didn't have any carving chisels. I helped teach a spoon carving workshop in school and so I know how to do it but when I graduated I wasn't able to take any of those tools with me and so today I'm going to be going over the tools that I got and why I picked them and so with that let's dive right in alright so here is the package it comes in and here are the tools and so what makes them very unique is that they are hand forged. So when I was looking online for a good set of chisels and gouges I found that they were very expensive and I really wanted to kind of find something that was handmade and so this is what I've got. So if you go on to Etsy that's where you will find these and along with a whole lot of other carving tools and a few timber frame chisels. Uh, the business is called Forged Steel Tools. I'll put a link in the description and they are all made in the Ukraine. And just a little bit about these chisels. They are all hand forged as you can see. It still has some of the forging marks. I love the fact that it's still kind of raw. Uh, another benefit of that is it keeps the cost down. Uh, these aren't highly polished all the way up, not ground completely flat up here. There's no like super decorative bits about them. They are exactly what you need, not some super fancy schmancy tool, but it is a handmade item that's going to do the job just right. Uh, the way that it came packaged is every single tip, all these ends, were covered with tape very well. And then they are all individually saran wrapped together into a bundle and padded extremely well. As far as shipping goes, it took a couple weeks because they're coming from the Ukraine. And especially with COVID going on, uh, USPS was all over the place with these. It passed through my state a couple times, went all across the country, uh, drove actually right through my town and decided not to drop it off. And so if you are going to order from this person, just be aware that it's not his fault that it takes so long to get here. So with that, these are all made from 52100 uh, carbon steel. It's what they use for ball bearings and things of that nature. And this is how they came. I haven't used them. I haven't done anything like that. So that's what I kind of want to do just to show how sharp they come out of the box. So here is just a scrap piece of sassafras that I've used in other videos. Um, first off is the bent U gouge. So I'm just going to start going in. Alright, so as you can see, uh, without sharpening it at all, it can definitely do the job, 
but uh, I think taking it across a strop would definitely do it some good. Uh, sassafras is pretty hard, super grainy, so I had very little expectations for it to do good, but it definitely exceeded them for their price point. And that's what I kind of want to talk about next, is these tools are roughly $25 to $40 a piece, depending on what you are going to get. So here is what they call a carving knife. It's beveled on both sides, and so what I would use this for would be the neck of the spoon, just trying to get in to where the bowl and the handle meets. This is pretty, pretty sharp. Uh, it is not going to shave me, I don't think. Oh, there it goes, yeah. So it will shave out of the box. But it definitely likes going across that end grain very nicely. Uh, it's a grounded at super, super low angle. So I guess it's essentially like a low angle plane. It's just going to cut that end grain super well. Next is just standard gouge. This one is definitely sharper than the other one. I mean, look how fast I'm able to. I was able to carve a bowl out relatively fast, but again, strop would just really sharpen that up. So in the set, this would be the chisel. It's pretty close to what the knife would be that I used earlier. So. It is double beveled as well. It does not like to go against the ingrain as much as the first knife. But it's actually still leaving a really, really nice finish behind. And last but not least, the hook knife. So this, I would probably have preferred a handle like this on it, um, just purely for grip's sake. It's kind of hard to get leverage. With it, as well as, this is probably the dullest of the set. It'll still cut, but again, this is also sassafras. It's pretty hard, grainy wood. So this is a pretty big challenge for these tools to go up to for their first time being used. All right, so you've seen these little guys in action. Now I wanna talk about 
the set that they come in. If you were to just go on his Etsy website and order these, you would get the set of four tools for $154. Uh, I told him what I was uh, looking for and just kind of got to know him a little bit. And we messaged back and forth. And if you're wanting to just build an entire collection right off the bat, he's got a few sets that he was one to go in on for a pretty decent discount, but it was still way out of my budget. I didn't need all of those tools. Then he sent me a link to this set and said I'll throw in this knife and uh, I told him I would do a, a YouTube review on them and let him know what I thought of the tools and I'm gonna shoot him a link to that once it's done but for all of this I was able to get it for less than hundred and fifty dollars and if you've ever priced chisels before carving chisels they are very pricey or at least they can get pricey and so if I was going to spend money I would much prefer to support someone who's doing this by hand just to support the trade in general of hand making things and so that's why I decided to go with these uh, what I recommend them as you can see the mess around them absolutely these tools look good I love the fact that they still look handmade. If I want a handmade tool, I want them to be handmade. They don't have to be perfect. And I don't think these are perfect necessarily, but I think they're perfect for the job that they're designed to do. Uh, as you can see, the parts that are important, the backs, and where you would sharpen are polished with all of them. So that's it for this video. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. If you would go this route with handmade tools or go the route of a mass-produced company. If you're new here to this channel, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate your feedback, whether it be good or bad. Uh, I'm always looking for some constructive criticism. But if you enjoyed what you saw, please hit the like and subscribe button down at the bottom of the screen. And as always, until next time, see you.